You're running the most dangerous experiment in history right now, which is to see how much carbon dioxide the atmosphere can handle before there's an environmental catastrophe. This is a quote by Elon Musk. Elon is probably one of the smartest people on this planet. But what does he mean by that? Let me tell you. The safe amount of CO2 in our atmosphere is considered to be 350 ppm. And we passed 400 ppm this March. No one knows the long-term chronic effects of this exposure. CO2 is a waste product. Breathing in more CO2 is like drinking one glass of urine every single day. Bear Grylls approved. It could be harmless, but it could also be life-threatening. But this isn't even the worst problem about CO2. CO2 influences our climate, which makes storms, floods, heat waves and droughts way more likely. Not cool. The bottom line is the climate change is real and it's threatening every living being on this planet. You think CO2 is bad? Let's talk about methane. Cows and few other animals release methane. If CO2 is a lighter, methane is a flamethrower. Methane is a greenhouse gas that traps up to 100 times more heat than CO2, which makes livestock with 51% the biggest contributor to human-made climate change. This morning you felt like a hero and thought about making a positive impact. You took a shower, but only a short and cold one, you know, to save some water and maybe some money. You felt great and thought you needed a treat. You went to McDonald's and ate a hamburger. But wait, what if I told you that the beef in the hamburger needed over 3000 liters of water to be made? This is enough to let you shower for two months and could be provided for people in need. You know, Africa. Eating animals is not energy efficient. I mean, think about it. You're creating food by using food. You invest time and effort in growing plants, which then get eaten by animals. Animals which you have to invest time and effort into. And then the animals get eaten by humans. Because livestock takes so much resources, livestock is responsible for 91% of the Amazon's rainforest deforestation. Most of that percentage is used for animal food, mostly soy. Why need animals in the first place? Why not eat fewer animals and feed some people with that soy? You know, ever heard about Africa? I mean, eating animals is like building a car using all your effort and then suddenly destroying the car and using all its remnants for gas of a different car. A different car, not even a better car. In fact, the previous one was better. And for those that worry about protein, you get 15 times more protein by growing plants on a portion of land instead of animals. Raising animals is shit. No, I'm serious. Animals produce a gigantic amount of shit. In the US alone, that's 72,500 kilograms of shit per second. In one year, that's enough to fill San Francisco, New York, Paris, Berlin, New Delhi, Hong Kong, London, Rio de Janeiro, Delaware, Bali, Costa Rica and Denmark together. This gigantic waste usually gets stuffed into lagoons, which are prone to leaks. The waste sometimes ends up in the river or the sea, killing millions of fish and worsen our water and food supply. Going back to the car analogy, this means you've not only sacrificed your old, good car for a different car. No, not even that. The new car is shit and brings all kinds of disadvantages with it. Few people talk about animals as the main contributor to climate change. If you go on the homepage of Greenpeace, there's little to no stuff written about it. Reason being is that telling people that they should cut down on animal products is often taken personal, so sorry for that. 
and taking it personal can minimize the donation money. After all, environmental organizations need to pay their bills too. As a vegan, you only produce half of the CO2, 1 eleventh of fossil fuels, 1 thirteenth of water, and 1 eighteenth of land as meat eaters. The best time to plant a tree was 10 years ago. The second best time is now. This is a Chucky Beat production.